Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. If you're new here, hi, I'm Mercury, and welcome to my channel. It's my daily vlog, so whatever I happen to be up to today is what you're gonna see right here. And today, my cruise continues, and I am on shore at Royal Caribbean's private island, perfect day at Coco Cay. So let's go see what this island has to offer. I just wanna also say, I'm only gonna be doing activities that are included, so I'm not doing any of the extra fee activities today. So there will be a lot of laying around on the beach. Roy's off the, to the side here trying to make me laugh. Say hi, Roy. Okay, let, let us show you around. This tower that we're looking at is part of Thrill Water Park. There is an additional fee to enter Thrill Water Park. This little pirate ship splash zone is what's called Splash Away Bay, and this is a complimentary splash pad. Right in front of you when you walk in, you'll see Captain Jack. This bar also features an a la carte menu where you could pick up things like steak fries or chicken wings. They also have live music playing throughout the day. Welcome to Coco Cay. No littering. Let's keep the Bahamas clean, green, and pristine. I'm all on board for that. This bridge that we're walking across looks over Harbor Beach. This lagoon is inset in the middle of the island and is a little bit calmer than some of the external facing lagoons. We also found this grove full of hammocks. There are also hammocks scattered throughout the island and not just all here. We continued walking and found the straw market. This is where you can get all of your Coco K souvenirs, as well as any sundries you might have forgotten. And we have found our spot. We are going to be sitting over here at what's called Chill Island. And this is a series of three inlets that are facing on the west side of the island. So we have staked out our spot on the beach. We've got these two loungers right here. And the way it was set up is there are loungers in groups of two that are green and in groups of four, like over there, that are blue. And they're grouped together and socially distanced. So we have our own little setup. Came with an umbrella. So we have some shade. We can slide into the sun, however we want to do it. And we are overlooking right here. This is lovely. So it's now 10.14 and the, the gangway opens onto the island at 8.30 so we did not like rush off the ship at like the first moment and we were able to get this spot. I mean bear in mind the ship is only sailing at about 50% capacity and it looks like our ship is the only ship docked here. Usually they can dock two ships at a time at Coco Cay. So compared to normal there feels like there's a lot of space on the island right now. So yeah I'm gonna enjoy this. I was just in this lagoon and there's all these fish. I'm gonna to try to bring you in to see some fish without getting the camera wet because I don't have a GoPro. So we're gonna see what fish we can see from land. Or maybe we like waiting. Let's see the fish. in this lagoon. There, there's like little tiny like minnows and then there's these striped fish. 
and then there's these colorful tropical fish, and then then one saw this parrot fish. It was huge, like really big. I, I don't know if I caught it on film or not. He like came over to say hello and then swam. Oh, there he is! There he is! It's like he knew I was talking about him. Did you see him? Oh, there he is! There he is! For lunch, we headed over to the Chill Grill. This is complimentary dining and had a variety of foods like barbecue, salads, tacos, and some other items. For me, a trip to the taco stand was accommodating. Got all this great stuff. So I got some chicken, lettuce, guac, black beans, and some shredded cheese. And it looks great. And then Roy got some tacos. We have a lunchtime companion. Hello, Seagull. He's like walking around with his tongue hanging out. He's like, put the food in there. And I'm like, no, Mr. Seagull, we're not allowed. The sign says you already went to the buffet. This is the Oasis Lagoon. It's touted as being the Caribbean's largest freshwater pool. Overall, there's a lot of space in this pool, but I will say the swim up bar did get a bit crowded. We had so much fun here at Coco Cay. This was just such a chill, relaxed day. It's one of those, just go at your own pace, do what you want to do. Um, like I said earlier, we didn't pay for any of the extras. We did have our own snorkeling gear that we brought with us. So uh, we were able to, in this lagoon back here, go snorkeling. There's so many fish in there. There are these little white fish in the shallows. There are these like long skinny fish with like the pointy nose. Um, there's like the striped fish. There are these like really, really big, Roy said it was a parrotfish. Uh, it, very, very interesting that those ones were a little aggressive. So we were trying to like keep our distance from those fish. But everything was just so calm and so beautiful. I mean, like look how blue that water is. And we're just sitting out here and relaxing. It's a great day. We also walked over to the Oasis Lagoon, which is the largest freshwater swimming pool. I think they said in like, in North America, if I'm not mistaken. So, it's, and it's great. There was so much room to spread out. And because only our ship is docked here and we're sailing at half capacity, there is so much room. Like there is so much elbow room on this island. Yeah. I, I've been here before when it's packed because in the past it's been two cruise ships at full capacity and it gets busy. But right now, with them sailing at reduced capacity, this was a treat. This is something that you don't get very often and it was just magical. So with that, we are done for the day and have to say goodbye to Coco K. Or until next time. I don't like goodbyes. Until next time, Coco K. And until tomorrow, everybody else, stay inspired by. Take care. Bye.